Yo guys, how's it going? My name is Bruce and welcome to today's restoration. Today we're going to be restoring this matchbox. What is it? Rolls Royce Silver Cloud. Not too familiar with my Rolls Royce model names, but here we have it nonetheless. Here to give this a fancy new paint job, make it into like pretty much back as to how it would have looked back in its glory days. Anyways, let's get right onto the restoration process. Alright, now first I quickly went and drew the car apart. Normally I would show in the videos, but I didn't really feel like it. It was just such a quick drilling to do. Not really many, much point in showing the process if it's going to be like only two minutes of video sped up, but we have all the pieces, we have the body which we're going to be working on first, the interior and the window piece. So this window piece should be easily cleaned with some polish, interior we should be able to wash it in water, and of course, we're going to have to do quite a bit to the body, so we'll get right onto that. To remove the paint, all we're going to be using is some paint stripper, which I have to my side. We're going to dip the brush in and make sure it goes all over the car. Eventually doing that and leaving it for a few minutes will eventually make sure that the paint completely goes off and there'll pretty much be none left. So let's get right onto that process. Now to ensure that all the paint gets off, I like to do it two times. So I do it once just to make sure all the normal paint gets off and then a second time just to make sure I get any small panel gaps or anything like that where paint may still be left behind. And depending on the age of the car, it, this can take up for, for to a minute or two, up to 10 minutes. Alright, and here we have the body after using that paint stripper. We can see we've got pretty much every single bit of paint off. There's still a bit on the bottom left, but we're not even going to see that anyways when we put the car back together. Actually, what is that? Ugh. That was not on the car before, but still, the pretty much every single paint chip, or not paint chip, paint piece is gone. So we can move on to some sanding, because we can obviously tell that I've still got a lot of work to do. The discoloration in the metal is very clear, so I want to make this a bit more shiny. Definitely on the top here, you, you can see it looks pretty much like, just like, almost as reflective as stone. You can barely see the light reflecting through there, but still, we got to go into some sanding, make this a bit more shiny, so let's get right onto that. Now for the sanding, we're going to be using a whole bunch of different sandpapers. We're going to be using from 80 grit to 1200, I used 80 to 140 to 240 to 400, then to 800, then to 1200, so we used all of those, it took around half an hour of total sanding, but we can see the final result right as in a second. Alright, and here on the right we have the car finally sanded, now I think we can make this a bit more shiny, as, as you can see with this car, this is a polished car, looks way shinier, we can pair the two. You can see, it's almost there, but we can still give this one a polish, so let's get right onto that. And after polishing, here we have the result. We can see this is completely more shiny than it ever was. We can see, wow, we can see my collection back there. All the cars I have on the wall, but we can see this is a way better finish than we had before. So all we have to do now to complete the body is airbrush it. So let's quickly take this all apart, take the base off. I only show, grab like, not show, but I only put the base on just to display where we are right now. But I want to quickly just wash the, the interior piece and the window, then we'll get onto the airbrushing finale. All right, and then here we have the window piece. We have some metal polish cream here that I'm just going to chuck on this into a rag and we'll see how it looks. Also one more thing I need to do before we start airbrushing is I'm going to sand this base down and paint over it probably in a black primer colour. Most likely it's going to be a flat black, I'm going to put clear coat over it and that will be that. Not going to show the sanding on camera, but the painting process I will be showing, so we'll quickly put that on the screen, and we'll, after that we'll be sure that we can get to painting this beautiful body. Whoa! Now for the colour of this car, I decided to paint in, in a British sort of foresty dark blue. It's a pretty difficult colour to try and describe, so we can see it on the camera soon in a few seconds. Now this in, this colour was inspired by pretty much like early Rolls Royce era, so pretty much the only colour this Rolls Royce came in was like silver, black, dark red, and this blue colour that I made up here. 
So it does look pretty sweet. I made this color just by adding blue, tiny bit of red, and thinners. Also, I added black in as well, and some metallic finish. So that's pretty much. I got gray metallic spray paint and mixed it all in so we can get that beautiful metallic look. And here we have the car after leaving it just one day to dry. We can see that that blue color has come up pretty much perfect. This is the exact like sort of shade that I wanted for this car, so I'm glad it came out so well. So all we need to do now is chuck on two coats of clear and we'll see how it looks. Now, one thing I want to show is just how sick and awesome the metallic shine is on this. You can see it very clearly that the metal flakes are just shining so well with that color. So I reckon we'll just give this a few coats of clear and we'll be right on our way to finishing this custom. Now for the clear coat, we're just going to be using this regular branded one I got from the auto store. I'm going to do two coats of clear just to make sure that this, the protection on the paint is 100%. So I won't be careful and like I still have to be careful obviously, but it won't be as easy to get scratches on the car. If you saw my last custom restoration video, you would know that I did end up scratching the car right after I restored it. So to try and prevent that from happening once again, two coats of, two coats of clear should be perfect for this car. And here we have it after two coats of clear and leaving it around probably 90 total hours of dry time. I know that's quite a few hours, but honestly I like to make sure these are 100% ready and 100% cured in the paint to make sure they're ready to put, be put together. So anyway, we can see how beautiful this paint is. I've got my camera flash on and it really shows. The metallic flakes in this just look awesome. It's not like a crazy paint job like the classic Spectra flame would look, but the metallic in this anyways is... Just so beautiful looking nonetheless. I'm really happy with this. Put some old Matchbox, uh, I think, I don't even know if these are Matchbox, I think these might be old, like, maybe some really <laughs> bad branded wheels, I'm not sure what they are. Really wish I had rubber tires, but I couldn't find any of this size. Now for the base, I'm not, I can't even remember if I showed, but I just painted this with a black primer. I know it doesn't give the best coverage, but you can still <laughs> tell that this has been painted black. I did it from the can, obviously, because it was a prime, but I might, next time I do a restoration, I might shoot some black through the airbrush just to get a better looking black finish on the bottom, because we can see this is very choppy, the original chrome base is showing through quite a bit, we can still see the riding Rolls Royce Silver Cloud 1985. So, all in all, this custom restoration is probably my favourite that I've made so far on the channel. I'm just really happy with the way this one came out. I've made no mistakes in the procedure of making this one, so as a new person to restoration slash customs, I can say I'm really, really happy with this ride. So anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, tell me what you think of this car below. Comment if you like it, if you don't like it. What do you think of the color as well? Do you reckon it suits the model? But anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.